Well, good morning. Hey, check this out. All right, people, listen up. Ladder ball, you know the rules. Get your foot behind the line of the cones, and there you go. Hey, Ellie, get behind the line. Grace, really? Did you forget the rules? Get behind the line. Hey, Addie, I know you're five, but take a step back. Get behind the line. Hey, fifth grade, come on. Really? Get behind the line. My turn. Well, kids, families, would you pause this video right now and would you just have a brief conversation about what was wrong with what you just saw? Well, in today's message, we talked about something called a double standard. A double standard, meaning we say one thing, but we do another, right? Kind of like what we saw just a minute ago in that clip. Well, so often when we live with these double standards, the person that we're thinking about most because of our own pride, it's us. But listen, we've got to remember, right? We talked about this in the message. We've got to remember what we're called to as followers of Jesus. Philippians 2.4, don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. So first things first here, kids, families, would you pause this video? Would you just have a moment of honesty where you share with each other, maybe a double standard in your own life, where you say one thing, but because maybe you're just looking out for yourself, you wind up doing another. Would you go ahead and have that conversation? Well, I think if we're all honest, we can all come up with something here, right? Because of our own pride, it's just kind of our default. We tend to look out for ourselves and sometimes ignore looking out for others. But listen, none of us are different here. This is a struggle, I think, for everyone. So kids, families, I just want to encourage you. At the end of this video, would you just take a moment to, to call out that double standard before God, asking for forgiveness and asking for the power of the Holy Spirit to help you not only care about yourself, but to take an interest in others. I really believe God will bless this kind of humility. I hope you have a great day. Take care.